Hello everyone, TJV here, and today I'm going to be talking about H2O Delirious and Liz Katz yet again. There's a lot of information in this video, I definitely recommend watching the full thing before going down in the comments and making a comment. I already know some people are going to go down in the comment section first before even watching the video, and then that's alright I guess, but definitely try to have an informed comment and watch this entire thing before making a comment. I would really love to hear what you have to say after watching this full video and understanding what's going on. But we're going to be getting into a lot today, first we're going to be getting into Liz Katz and her Instagram comment which she has since deleted, which was taking a bit of a jab at Delirious. Delirious uploaded a video called Single Lirious. We're going to be talking about that. Connected to the Single Lirious video, he did mention a certain like a year or whatever, which lines up with an old tweet from Liz Katz from the same year, which Liz Katz has deleted this old tweet. So you guys are going to see a, another deleted thing from Liz that kind of lines up with their breakup happening now. And Liz Katz, she uploaded a new video calling out somebody. It could be me, I think. I think she's calling out me, but she's very vague in it and she could be referring to somebody else. We will talk about that later. First, I want to get a quick disclaimer out. They posted this information publicly. Therefore, anyone could talk about anything that they post publicly because they're posting it to the internet for millions and millions of people to see. So therefore, if you guys are going to be commenting your own opinions, what you think, giving them support, maybe people are not giving them support over it, that's fine for you guys to comment stuff like that, but it's not okay for me to make a video and have my own comments about it. People have been really mad that I made a video over this and I don't understand why. My video is not that bad. I'm respectful to all parties in it. Sure, I have an opinion that I don't think their mother, Liz Katz, should be doing very erotic stuff around her kids in the same home. I don't think a kid should be growing up and seeing their mother do stuff like that. But again, that was just my own opinion. I wasn't taking a jab at Liz. I wouldn't take jabs at either one of these guys. There's a lot worse things being said online than me and my own opinion on how a mother should act around their kids. There's a lot worse things, and I don't condone those things. I don't think this is a time to be heinous towards either Delirious or Liz. But yet, I've been attacked constantly because my opinion was way too bad. It was way too bad. What I said in the video about her being erotic around her kids, that's not okay to say. Well, she is. She's posing in the same home, which is around her kids, for her OnlyFans business crap that she's doing online. We'll get into that more later and everything, but just a quick disclaimer. I have good intentions with this video. I'm not trying to take a jab or go hurt anybody in this situation. I'm not picking sides. I'm neutral. I'm just reacting, informing you guys. And yes, I will give my opinion from time to time and I will try my best to be truthful but god forbid if I tell my opinion people are gonna freak the f out Regardless, let's get into the video. Liz Katz, she ended up commenting on her Instagram, a picture of her and a guy dressed up as Nightwing, I think, while Liz Katz is Catwoman holding a Batman mask. The description of the post says, now that Batman is away, the cat can finally play. This Instagram post came shortly after Liz Katz's ex post about Delirious and herself breaking up. So people were thinking, okay, now that she said Batman is away, is Batman being referred to as Delirious? Is this a little hint towards that? So somebody asked, was Delirious Batman? Liz Katz responded saying, no, but he was two-faced, which since this comment, I can't sit here and find it no more, so she deleted it, and I think some of the reasoning why is because of backlash that maybe Delirious fans had. Delirious uploaded a video called Single Lirious where he is very adamant on people not sitting here and attacking Liz over it. Here's the beginning of that video. Hey guys, thank you for clicking on the video. I need to say some things. Try to keep this stuff private. Me and Liz, um, we broke up, but need to make things clear that me and her are still good. Still good. We are still co-parenting our children. I am making this video because it's not right for people to attack her in comments or anything like that. It's not right at all because me and Liz were friends. She is the mother of my daughters. And what's interesting about this single Lirious video that Delirious uploaded was the fact that the description changed in a pinned comment was added. This was the original description of the video, and this is the new one. The new one includes this cat's Instagram post were getting negative comments. I don't want that at all. There is no reason for that stuff, so please be kind to her. And there's also a pinned comment that kind of echoes the same thing that the description has said. But it's pretty clear that when he uploaded this video, he 
didn't include any description or pinned comment about it, but then he added the description in the pinned comment after the fact, so when people are reading that, people would not go over to Instagram and attack Liz over it. Again, if they're breaking up and she wants to make jokes about Delirious being two-faced, which I don't think this is the right time for the situation, people have been commenting on how Delirious sounds completely defeated and distraught in his video, I don't think it's the time to make a joke that he is two-faced, but maybe that's a hint towards her feelings towards Delirious. I don't know. People have been theorizing this all over the place. Is the two-faced comment just a joke? Is it just a pun? Does it not mean anything? Is it a jab at him because she has mixed feelings about him still? I don't know. People have been theorizing that online. But there's one more thing for the single Lirius video to cover. Now, I'm not going to cover the entire thing. Delirious does have some good messages in there, like how he cares about his daughters, and his daughters are priority number one, which I applaud that greatly. I'm glad Delirious is having a good father mindset on just focusing on the kids. That's a very great thing to have. But he does mention something in particular. Listen to this, and then this leads to Liz Katz's old tweet that she deleted back in 2021 first year we've been together for four years the first year was amazing absolutely an amazing year and then some things happened in 2021 that ended up really stressing her out and it really 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 stressed me out i did some dumb things i do admit i'm not perfect So he says the first year that they're together, which would have been like 2019, 2020, something like that, was really great, was really great, awesome. But the very next year in 2021, that's where things kind of took a bumpy road. Now, if you guys know about the Ohm record drama with the entire Vanoss crew, that was a very prominent year for that drama, 2021. That was the year that Ohm record went on drama alert and all this stuff was flooding to Twitter. That was the time that Delirious and Ohm record were beefing a lot. That was the time that Delirious was making a ton of alt accounts to go after Ohm record. Delirious was using alt accounts for very bad things, and there was a lot of alt accounts that Delirious has admitted to. This is stuff that's been admitted by Liz in her original video talking about the drama. This stuff isn't stuff I'm making up. This stuff is real, so you gotta take this into account. Delirious was being very obsessive over Omrecker and everything he was throwing out there, making alt accounts. This was the year for that. But prior to that drama, that drama all started in May of 2021. Prior to that drama, though, there is this set of tweets, which I end up finding on the Wayback Machine. This was posted on March 18th, so well before the own drama became public and everything, because that was all in May of 2021, this was in March of 2021. These tweets have been deleted by Liz, so they're no longer public anymore, but you can still find them on the Wayback Machine. This hints at problems between her and Delirious and what was happening in the home, which again, Liz Katz thought this was important to post at the time. Liz Katz sits here and says, why as a woman am I expected to solely take care of a high needs baby, whom I love with all my heart though, pick up after everyone else, figure everything out for everyone, drive everyone where they need to go since no one else drives, the sense that Delirious not having a driver's license, and not being able to drive, be smiley and super chipper to cheer everyone else up because they are super moody, and somehow still work with a baby screaming on my lap to make a living myself. There aren't enough hours in the day to do it all, yet men can go run to their rooms when they want to watch TikTok videos and movies and play Hearthstone for hours each day stay up all night and then take naps half the day and somehow get by without ever changing a diaper acting like holding the baby so i can do even a five minute task is hard work and a favor to me it's not fair i'm exhausted i'm failing at keeping up with my job i've lost so much money and work i don't get the time to even shower and it's really starting to bum me out so it seems like liz Katz really had a huge problem with delirious because i'm assuming in 2021 she was still living with delirious which delirious again said in his video this was the year that there was a lot of bumps going on and Liz Katz posted all this way back in 2021 which she has since deleted but this gives us a little bit of an idea that maybe Liz was just taking care of the kids and Delirious was focusing on his career and playing with the crew and doing whatever else he does in his spare time. Again this is not me trying to take a jab at Liz for posting this stuff publicly or me trying to take a jab at Delirious because of what Liz said. This is me just telling you guys that this information has been out there it's accessible way back machine just look up old stuff you can find old old tweets that people have deleted all the time. This is something that gives you a little bit more insights on, yeah, the stuff between them wasn't working out. And maybe it is for the best that they split up and have a co-parenting relationship because then maybe that gives them both more incentive to try to spend time with their kids. But again, just my thought, just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me there. Take this how you want to take this.
And the last thing we're going to be talking about is a tweet from Liz Katz. She captions it. He didn't even buy you dinner first. And let's play the video so you guys know what's going on. Of course, everyone's entitled to an opinion. But it's a little bit ironic to be calling me derogatory terms while you're actively writing a YouTuber this hard. And obviously I bleeped out that one word, but yeah, she's talking about writing somebody's you know what. And this was posted today, right before I started recording. So this is something for me to add to the YouTube video. Again, she could be referring to me as if me calling her erotic Tory terms. I think the only thing I said was the things that she was doing is very erotic and she dresses very erotic like, which is an appropriate way to describe what she's doing. Now keep in mind, if this is towards somebody else and it isn't towards me, then forget everything I'm gonna say here but if it is towards me and Liz Katz made this video because she didn't like what I was saying about it keep in mind anything you post online I'm allowed to comment on just like how you were able to comment on a video that I just made again I don't think people should be that upset just because somebody has an opinion about something else somebody posted I know people are always gonna be mad about it and everything like that but taking slight jabs here and there Liz you have more important things to deal with I think your kids are more important than this I think you and your relationship with the lyrics is more important than this I think you trying to make a living, even if I don't agree with what you're doing to make a living, you should be focusing on that and you should be focusing on your well-being rather than going online to try to take jabs at people, regardless if this is about me or somebody else. Focus on yourself, please. I think you need it a lot more than most people. And same to anyone who's watching this video. If you're not in a good place, just focus on yourself for a bit. This drama is not worth your time at all, especially if you're not in a good space right now. Just focus on yourself. And that's the overall message here. Focus on your loved ones. Focus on yourself. See, we ended the video good, even though there was a lot of drama to cover. Good message at the end. Focus on yourself. Focus on your family. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow. There'll be some sort of live stream set up where you can find it on my channel tune in for a live stream we will talk about all this live i will even debate some of you guys live if we have different opinions that would be a lot of fun remember to be civil thank you guys for watching the video i appreciate it so very much and i will see you guys all next time peace